Africa loses over four billion dollars worth of maize grain annually due to poor storage facilities. Losses occur when grains decay or are infested by pests, fungi, or microbes. Physical losses are only part of the equation. According to the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Ghana loses $400 million annually through post-harvest losses. Ironically, 30% of all harvested grain is lost with the attendant threat to food security. A report from CSIR also indicates Ghana's food import bill hit $1.5 billion last year. 24-year-old Stephen Jagri is a farmer at Ejura in the Ashanti region. During harvesting, we don't know how to keep our food for long periods so that we can sell them for good price. So we find it difficult any time, day in and day, in and day out, to keep it. Maybe sometimes we may not want to sell it at a price that in which we do sell. But because of where to keep that, the product is a problem. This is how many farmers store their grains in the open. It appears, however, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Engineer Joseph Opong Akua is at the Agriculture Engineering Department at the Kwame Krumah University of Science and Technology. He has introduced a solar biomass hybrid dryer that will ensure farmers reduce their post-harvest losses. The drying components more or less utilize both the sun energy as well as biomass. And so when we go behind the dryer, you will see the biomass components. So when the sun is on drying the major season, I mean, you don't expect the rains to fall continuously. There may be some intermittent sunshine. You can, as you are interviewing me, first feel the warmth inside here compared to outside. And so the idea is when the sun comes on, you can still be doing your drying. But then when it should be raining or we are in a cloudy situation or at night, we switch on to the biomass where you burn the corn cobs that basically have you know generated from the shelling of the maize and then you can burn to you know uh, more or less generate additional heat which you can use to augment more or less the heat required for drying of them i can see some materials here like this one for instance the metal and some other net okay explain the essence of these yeah basically as you can see the dryer in terms of the drying session has different uh, materials that have been used. We use wood, I mean, in terms of ensuring that we can reduce the cost because, I mean, most of the challenges that has come about as far as the technology of solar drying is concerned is the cost of materials. So we've used wood and we've used nets in terms of uh, linen nets and then a mesh so as to serve as a drying platform. So what you see over here is more or less a drying platform where the maize will be hot, will be dried. And then the gutters that you see, we don't want a situation where farmers or those who are using the facility will have issues that has to do with drudgery in terms of, you know, getting tired, trying to, you know, transport the maize and then also collecting it. So the gutters have been, you know, designed in such a way that when you finish drying, you can easily scoop the maize into the gutters and then easily collect it uh, without necessarily having to heap them and then you know, scoop them into your bags or whatever. So the idea is to ensure that you can easily collect your maize from the drying platform and then you discharge it into your bags. The dryer is designed in such a way the moisture content from the grain easily ever prays. Uh, the, should I say, the, the design in terms of uh, considerations that were put into the, 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 the construction or the design of this facility is to dry maize for about eight hours. So we anticipate that during the minor season, when we are particularly trapping the heat for drying, the idea is that you should be able to finish drying by eight hours. But in the major season like this, where we have you know, intermittent sort of you know, sunshine, you probably could dry between eight to 10 hours, or maximum, should I say, 12 hours. And uh, I'm sure you have seen some fans at the background at the top there. Uh, the principle of drying is to ensure that the moisture that comes from the produce is taken away in terms of the basic principle of drying. So the fans will sort of augment that process where the moisture that is coming from the produce will easily be hot, driven away as a result of the fans circulating within the dryer. And there are some vents at the extreme ends and that also will aid as far as the moisture uh, migration from the dryer uh, section is concerned. Evans in Sierra of Penn's Food Bank, a storage company, has also introduced silos for the same purpose. 
So we blow cold air into it, and the cold air runs through the stored grain and then pushes the hot air through the vent up there, and then it comes. You know, this uh, storage tank for water, and we try to convert it into green storage. And that is what I have done here. Maybe it's an innovation. It hasn't been done anywhere. So what is, what is so unique about this particular storage system? Now, what is unique about it is that uh, unlike the bagged ones and the other storage facilities that so far I've seen, after six months, the longest period of six months, pests take over everything. But this, it works like a hermetic, the principle is hermetic. That is, uh, with time, oxygen is depleted to deny any insect pest that will be in uh, air to survive. Then oxygen will take over and then everything dies. So with this, even if it stays for two years, there wouldn't be any uh, insect pest to destroy it. So I say it is an innovation. You can store grains in this particular storage for two years? Two years and above. Two years and above. We have platforms for inspection and uh, uh, data collection and anything that you want. The construction process of the two different solar dryers can increase local economic activity and generate employment. Mahmoud Mohamed Nouridin reporting.